Okay, um, for the first one I would eliminate Y. So I'd multiply the top quadrant by 2. Spread Y equals 98. And I times the bottom quadrant by 5. 25X plus 10Y equals... 155. So now I'm going to subtract from two bottom take top. So 25x take 6x is 19x and 155 take 98 is 57. So x will be 57 divided by 19 x equals 3. And then I'm going to sub that into any one of the equations. I'm going to choose 3x plus 5y equals 49. So if x equals 3, 3x is off 9. So we end up with 5y equals 40, y equals 8 for the first one. Right, second one. Um, in fact, for this one, I'm going to make both of the B's 18. I'm going to times that one by 3. That's 9x minus, that's not x, it's 3. 9a minus 18b equals minus 30. And I'll times the bottom one by 2. 22a minus 18b equals minus 82. Right, again we're subtracting to get rid of the b's minus 18b's minus minus 18b's is nothing. So 9a minus 22a is minus 13a. And minus 30 minus minus 82. So that's minus 30 plus 82. It's 52. So A must be 52 divided by minus 13. That's minus 4. So we've got first of all here A equals minus 4. And if A equals minus 4, let's substitute that in. If I've got 3A minus 6B equals minus 10 then if a equals minus 4 3 a's will be minus 12 minus 6 b equals minus 10 minus 12 equals minus 10 plus 6 b add 10 to both sides minus that's not correct if i add 10 to both sides minus 12 plus 10 is minus 2 B, B equals minus a third. Now that looks like it's a little bit of a weird number, but you can always check. So the other equation says 11A minus 9B equals minus 41. So 11A minus 9B equals minus 41. So you can just double check. So if A is 4, 11A would be minus 44. Minus 9 times minus a third. I got minus 44 minus 9 times minus a third. So 9 times a third is 3. That's minus 3. So I've got minus 44 add 3, which is minus 41, which is what they have at the top. So that's a quick check that that one is correct. I've got that out of my way. Right, for the next one then. So similar again. This time I'm going to multiply the top equation by 3, the bottom equation by 2. If I times the top equation by 3, I get, let's get it over here, um, 15x plus 6y equals 6.6. .6. And if I times the bottom equation by 2, I get 8x minus 6y equals minus 11.2. Okay, this time I'm going to add them though, because 
I've got plus 6y minus 6y. So 15x plus 8x is 23x. And 6.6 .6 plus minus 11.2 gives me 6.6 .6 minus 11.2 minus 4.6. So 1x in this case must be minus 4.6 divided by 23, which is minus 0 0.2. And then once you've got x, I know that 5y, 5x plus 2y is 2.2. 5x plus 2y is 2.2. So if x is minus 0 0.2, 5 of those will be minus 1. Add 1. So we've got minus 2.2, x 2.2. Um, add 1 to both sides. 2y equals 3.2. And then divide by 2. 1.6 for that one. Okay, those were all the standard ones that you're asked to do. If you had a go at the extension ones, then the first one was from the uh, further maths, and we wanted to solve three simultaneous equations. So remember when we're solving three simultaneous equations, we just pick two and eliminate one letter and then pick another two. So if I pick these top two here and here, and actually, if I call that equation one and that equation two, if I do equation one, add equation two. So if I add those together, minus x plus three x is two x. Uh, minus y plus y, is nothing. 3z plus 4z is plus 7z and 13 plus 4 is 17. So that's my first equation. And then I need to do a different two equations. I need to eliminate the y again, don't I? So if I take equation 1 and I times it by 3, I get minus 3x minus 3y plus 9z. Sorry. 9z equals 39 and then if I keep this equation 3 as it is x minus 3y minus z equals 1 if I subtract minus 3x minus x is minus 4x minus 3y minus minus 3y is nothing 9z minus minus z is 10z and 39 minus 1 is 38 and then I've got these two equations that I need to solve simultaneous simultaneously, this one and this one. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to half this. So half of that equation will be minus 2x plus 5z equals half of 38 is 19. And then I've also got this equation from the top which is 2x plus 7z equals 17. And if I add these together, minus 2x plus 2x is nothing. 5z plus 7z is 12z. 19 plus 17 is 10, 20, 36. Divide by 12 z equals 3. And once I know what z is, I can go back up and sub that into one of the other equations. So if I were to choose the 2x plus 7z, 7z equals 17. If z is 3, I've got 2x plus 7z would be 21. 17 minus 21 is minus 4. So x is minus 2, so I've got z and x, and then I need to just go back up into one of the equations at the top to get y. So if I choose the equation 3x plus y plus 4z equals 4, if x is minus 2, 3x is always minus 6, plus 
plus y plus 4z of z is 3, that would be 12. Minus 6 plus 12 is 6. y equals minus 2. Right, very last one then. Um, I put really tough at this one. Hint, use the substitution method. I know some of you had a pretty good go at this. So basically all you need to do is substitute in place of, we know here that y is equal to this term. So here, where I've got y, I'm going to put this x plus 3 instead. And by doing that substitution, I then end up with 3x plus 2, x plus 3 squared equals 11. I've only got one unknown, and that's really what all I need to do. And then I just need to solve this like an equation. So you know that x plus 3 all squared is going to be x squared plus 6x plus 9. Then we've got 3x plus 2x squared plus 12x plus 18. And then I've got 2x squared plus 15x plus 7 equals 0. If I make it equal to 0. And then we need to solve this. So it's a quadratic equation. So I can either use the formula if I can't factorise it. Or I can factorise it. I could complete the square if I really wanted to. Um, because I can see this, I know it's going to factorise. It's going to be 2x and x. And the other side has to be 7 and 1. So it's just got to be that. If we do it by inspection. other option is that you split the middle term up if you do it that way. And say 2 7s are 14. And they add to get 15 or 14 and 1 and split the middle term up. And then once we've got it like that, we say either our 2x plus 1 equals 0 or x plus 7 equals 0 so x equals minus a half or x equals minus 7 and then for each of those I need to find what y is but from up here we just know y equals x plus 3 so if I know y equals x plus 3 y here minus a half plus 3 is Two and a half over two, and if y equals if y equals x plus three minus seven plus three is minus four. So I've got my two different pairs of answers. If you wanted a little aside to these, when you start doing some of these equations, once you start like this, getting squares into one and the other one having no squares. What you're kind of doing is you're drawing a square graph or a parabola and then the other one with no squares is a straight line and those are why we're getting kind of the two crossing points. That's what we're finding as those two things.